Hello everyone, welcome to the preview show delivered by FedEx. I'm Alan Kavana, back with us, NASCAR.com analyst Brad Parrott. Brad, good to have you back as always, because we are going back to Pocono for the second time this year. And if you remember, the first time around was pretty exciting. Dale Earnhardt Jr. got the win late in the race, passing Brad Keselowski. But what's interesting about Pocono is we haven't seen a season sweep there by a driver since 2006. So I don't know if that's good for Dale Jr. fans, but you tell me, what, what is so difficult about Pocono that, that we don't see the same driver winning back to back? Well, you, you're just coming off of Indianapolis and you got the, the runs that everybody had at Indy. Dale, uh, Dale Earnhardt did not have a good run at Indy. Uh, Jeff Gordon had a great run. Casey Kane had a great run. But Pocono is a tricky triangle. You know, there's three distinctive different kind of turns. You got one and two you go through uh, pretty fast uh, off the straightaway where you're running 210 mile an hour down the straightaway. You go through one and two, probably around 165 mile an hour. Go down the long pond straightaway, uh, down the back stretch, and you got a really fast left hand tunnel turn. And uh, it's it's tricky, but you got to hit your mark. You go into turn three, you stay low, stay low, stay low, and it's the flattest part of the racetrack. You got to come off that corner, really go down that straightaway where you got the speed to to get back to turn one. Yeah, and each week from now on here on the preview show, we're going to take a look at the chase for the NASCAR Spring Cup grid as we fill out the field because the playoff time is coming. Now take a look. Brad Keselowski and Jimmy Johnson are still at the top of the grid with three wins apiece. Jeff Gordon's win at the Brickyard, that moved him up the grid now that he has two wins on the season. But Brad, we're going to continue to look at the names toward the end, the danger zone, we're calling it. Positions 12 through 16, which got a little jumbled out in Indy. Matt Kenseth is still up there. He's looking good even without a win. And it's Ryan Newman, Clint Boyer, Kyle Larson, and now Austin Dillon has rejoined the chase grid after his top 10 in Indy. Right now, we have two rookies in the chase grid set to make NASCAR's playoff. Pocono, a rookie hasn't won there since 2006, Denny Hamlin. Is that going to be good or bad for this for the rookies' chances to make the chase? Well, I think it's good for Kyle Larson. Uh, you know, Austin Dillon, he's hit and miss uh, different weeks and everything, but I think Kyle Larson finishing top five last time at Pocono will definitely pay off. I think, uh, you know, Austin won't have the run that he needs, and uh, he'll, he'll get knocked back by Casey Kane, I believe. And then Casey Kane is certainly coming, especially after that good run in the Brickyard. But that brings us to this week's social pick of the week. How many rookies will make the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup field the, the, the chase? Will it be two, just one, or will none of them make it when we start the chase in Chicagoland? You can vote at nascar.com slash social. Now, we're going to pick some winners, something we do here every week on the preview show. Not to intimidate you or anything, but I picked the winner last week for the Brickyard. So it's on you now, Brad. Who's going to win in Pocono? Well, I think I'll take Jeff Gordon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, got, I got Casey King. Casey had a great run last week. Hendrick has won the last four races at Pocono. So it's going to be very strong. Casey Kane uh, needs to get in the chase, and this is his chance. Yeah, and you, you know what? You should have stuck with Jeff Gordon because that's who I'm picking. Okay. I picked Jeff Gordon last week to win the Brickyard, and when you just look at the numbers, they're very similar, Brickyard and Pocono. If one succeeds at one place, they're going to do well at another. And look at the numbers for Jeff Gordon. He has 19 top fives and 43 starts. Just for rolling through the tunnel, half the time he gets a top five at Pocono. Six wins there, so Jeff Gordon is going to continue this. He's already the leader in the point standings. He's going to shoot himself up the chase grid, I think, and join Jimmy Johnson and Brad Kozlowski with three wins after Pocono. So we're both picking Team Hendrick. Uh, can't go against the Hendrick power. Yeah, right now, especially on those long straightaways. Well, Brad Parrott, thank you for thank joining you. us as always, and thank you for watching the preview show delivered by FedEx. Have a great week, everybody.